Today on the channel, we head back to the DC Multiverse with the DC Classics McFarlane Toys Platinum Edition Sportsmaster. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the Platinum Edition Sportsmaster but for all your Sportsmaster needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $59 does ship free gotta get a deal out there and the Sportsmaster I actually found at my local Target and apparently some of these figures are only getting a platinum release, so a little bit more limited. I guess they're saying, hey, a guy like Sportsmaster, maybe not as popular. Maybe we don't need a full-on release of him. We'll get him out there for the hardcores, make it a little bit more limited, and that seems to be the way they're going with this one here. And a very interesting one, and I think a lot of people look at this figure and they say, oh my gosh, they're copying Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, Sportsmaster debuted like in the 40s, I think like 47, 48, something like that. He's been around a heck of a long time but of, i would say as far as what this represents more people probably do think casey jones and sportsmaster casey's a little bit more popular of course uh, heck grateful dead even wrote a song about this guy eh, maybe not but it's fun to pretend it's fun to pretend it's also fun to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel it's uh, we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there with the old sportsmaster uh just doing sports he's mastered every single sport hockey basketball football soccer high ally all the great sports he's doing it croquet or crochet crochet yeah he's crocheting i think on the weekend who knows but looking good you got the platinum sticker down there low dc multiverse sports master 22 points of articulation on this one absolutely not messing around 12 and up todd mcfarlane or i should say mark summers mark summers the heavy as we do know security getting all these kids out of here of course looking good though in the package there sports master dc classics Sportsmaster DC Multiverse. On the back, there he is in action, doing his thing, sporting throughout the year. And he's a heck of a sport, is what he is. Gonna cut him up here, gonna cut this, gonna get ready to go. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. There it is, out of there. Oh, gotta get the card, gotta get the stand. See you later. Goodbye. Can I get it out? Can I not be a rookie today? Oh, one down. See you later. Goodbye. Looking good right there. Can I get the stand out? The stands have been giving me fits lately. Oh, I did it. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. DC McFarland stand. Seen it before. We'll see it again. But let's see what it says about the Sportsmaster here. Real name, Lawrence Croc. What a croc. Lawrence Croc could turn his hand to any sport, but his obsession with winning saw him cripple a football player, ending his professional career. Instead, he turned to crime, attempting to rob a polo match. Oh, that's where I'd go. But that's where the money is. Polo. Uh, before adopting a costumed identity sportsmaster, Croc joined the Injustice Society and stuck up a fruitful partnership, criminal and romantic, with Huntress, the original Tigress. How about that? So, sportsmaster getting it done out there on the uh, old ballpark, I guess. There it is. Plastic prison looking good here. Some interesting weapons. Once again, very Casey Jones-like. A little bit minimalistic on this one, I will say. Uh, you do get a couple of good weapons here, but not tons. Not a ton. I would have liked to have seen a bag, kind of like Casey Jones. Maybe it's Casey Jones bias. Who knows what that is? But uh, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more as far as weaponry. But we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. Oh, my gosh. Locked in at the feet. How dare I forget? And then we got that tape. Oh, my gosh. Todd, what are we doing? We got the Cambodian tape locking everything down here. We got clip ties everywhere. It's just really a tough one to get out. Doesn't want anybody grabbing this Sportsmaster, that's for sure. Tape right there, looking good. Can I get this ball bat out of here? There we go. And then we got to cut these feet out. Oh, gosh. It never ends. It never ends. It's always part of, almost half the process, getting these figures out of the package is what it is. Oh, my gosh. I'm powering through. Powered through right there. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's get down to business here. Let's get down to official Sportmaster business. An interesting looking figure. We're going to start with this baseball bat. Is it a Jose Canseco baseball bat? 
Not exactly sure, but you got the white on the bottom here wrapped up. Brown at the top. A little bit thin, I would say, on the bat. I liked a bigger barrel myself. I liked the old 34-34 was my favorite bat back in the Little League days. I liked a heavier bat is what I always liked. Uh, Sportsmaster, your mileage may vary. Now, he does get a big old hockey stick right here. He's ready to do a little slap shot action. Those are his two weapons. That's all he gets. That's all he needs, I guess. Cream-colored hockey stick looks just like a hockey stick, so gets the point across for what it is. But now we're going to dive into the sports master himself, looking like a young uh, Jason Voorhees or Casey Jones or sports master, I guess. Blonde hair over the top, got the hockey mask going on. Looks like he's ready to take it to the streets is what he looks like right there. Got a big vest over the top, battle vest to protect his chest and everything else, looking nice. Shirt over there, short sleeve shirt, got some elbow pads, got some wrist pads, got a fist of fury and a gripping hand over here, got a little forearm guard on the side looking nice, got a utility belt with all kinds of pockets sculpted in, who knows what he's storing in there, probably hockey pucks and softballs, tennis balls, things like that, keeping it on brand of course, why would you grab a grenade, I'm sure he's at the bad guy hideout, there's like grenades and gas grenades, and then there's some tennis balls, he's like, mm, I'm going with these tennis balls, that's what I'm going for. Who knows? Sportsmaster, a wild guy. Got some knee pads going on. Got some big old shin guards here that would make a young Terry Steinbach blush. Back when he was in Minnesota in high school, uh, that's what those would do. Got some very robotic-like feet down here. Some big old boots there. Protect those feet at all times, of course. Arms go all the way around for us. You do get a bicep cut. Yes, a very strange bicep cut, but it is there. You do get a little butterfly in the shoulders. Not a whole lot, though. Double-jointed pinned elbows. Let's get rid of them, Todd. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. Hula hoop at the top. A little bit of movement there. A little bit of movement at the waist. Big old splits if you do need them. Leg does go up. Look at that thigh cut right there. Holy cow, we don't see that very often from Todd McFarlane. Uh, we do get a double-jointed pinned at knees, of course, very tight. Ankles back and forth, side to side. Toe articulation, keeping it on brand for old Todd right there. An interesting-looking guy, if there ever was one. Uh, it makes sense to me, though, as a platinum. A lot of people don't know about this. This is quite the deep-cut villain. But if you're building out the whole universe, you need a guy like this. I think we're here for that. He does fit on the McFarlane stand, for those keeping track at home. Ready to go, ready to take on the whole world's ways, ready to do with any kind of sporting equipment he can have. I can just imagine if he went down to like the local park and rec and he opens up the big garage full of everything and he's just like, oh. it's like Scrooge McDuck opening up the vault with all the money. He's probably the same way. He's like, oh my gosh, volleyballs. We got soccer balls over here. Oh, this is just everything. Oh, a new soccer goal. Look at those basketball hoops. I can't wait to put those nets up. Oh, they're even chain nets. Oh my gosh, prison rules at the park. Who knows? Sportsmaster just living the dream in sporting equipment is what he is doing here. But not a bad figure. Good for what it is. Might be a little tough to track down. It'd be interesting. Your mileage may vary. Like I said, I found this at my local Target. So I'd say, hey, check your Target. You might get lucky out there. Always great to get lucky at Target. We know how that goes. But Sportsmaster... Not bad for what it is. Definitely worth the 20 bucks, if you ask me. But what say you? Let me know your thoughts on Sportsmaster. Is it a pickup, a pass, a long game, a no game? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Always helps the channel. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel. Don't forget about the Patreon for early access to both channels. Uh, plenty of stuff over there to keep you busy at the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can support the channel at ProSTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the mighty sportsmaster, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.